Hi, my name is Brett. I'm a dev here at Axosoft, and I want to talk a little bit about submodules. So really all that a submodule is, is that it's a Git repository within another Git repository. Uh, and it's a great way just to pull in code that you find somewhere else on GitHub uh, just to use in your app. So let's take uh, this uh, repository as an example. It's just a little app that draws some stick figures. And I found an awesome Git repo that already does all the styling for me. So what I can do is that I can add this repository as a submodule in my own repo. And now I can actually start to use uh, everything with the styling library in with my uh, stick figure. Whenever you do add a submodule, there's a couple things that do happen. Uh, it does actually clone all of the files into your uh, repo so you can go and use them. So you have the full Git history uh, right there that you can go and view. And it also just makes a reference just to be able to find the repo as well. Not only is it a reference to the repo, it's a reference to a specific commit in the repo. Whenever you do actually add it, you would probably see in your Git history it would just show the name of the submodule, in this case, it's styles, and it'll show what specific commit we're pointing to. And in this case, it is ABC123. It's the full SHA hash of that commit. Here we can see it's this commit right here where we just um, added hats. When I pull it in my repository, I can go and, you know, I can start adding pants because I'm using this library, and I can go add hats as well. A couple implications of actually pointing to a specific commit is that I'm, I now am in control of uh, what version of the uh, submodule that I'm pulling in. This means that if they push an update, they do a bug fix, um, I'm always uh, going to be pointing to the same place in time. They're not going to break uh, whatever I'm working on just because they made an update. It also means that anyone else on my team that pulls down my repo, they would pull down the submodule, it would look at what repo it's looking at, what commit, and now they're using the exact same version as me. When you do want to update what version of the submodule you're using, all you need to do is just go into the submodule because it's a Git repository and just check out the version that you want. Let's say, okay, um, they added another feature where they can go and uh, include mustaches. I would just go check out this latest uh, commit. And now in my Git history, it would just show styles and the hash of this commit. So now I'm pointing right here to where they add some uh, mustaches and I can start using those as well. And this is helpful because in my repository, in the Git history there, it shows which version of the submodule I was using at every point in time. If I ever have to go back or change branches to uh, an earlier version, it'll look and see what version of the submodule I was using, check out to that specific commit. So I'm using the same version of the submodule that I was using at that point in time. And that's really all that there is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.